Hi everybody, let's in this video look at the shape of the marginal cost curve and the average cost curve for a firm operating in the short run. The shape of these curves is due to the law of diminishing marginal returns. So to help us, I've put the table that we used in the very first video in this playlist on the board where we illustrated the law of diminishing returns. And what we can see clearly from total product, marginal product and average product is the law of diminishing returns. All these figures are rising initially when we employ more people, when we employ more workers, and then the figures start to fall when diminishing returns start to set in here. What I've done though now is I've extended this table to include total cost, marginal cost and average cost. A couple of things we need to know first. If total costs are 10 when nothing is being produced, that means there are 10 pounds worth of fixed costs that always have to be paid, regardless of the level of output being produced. And we're also gonna assume that workers are paid an hourly wage of 10 pounds. So that explains all the numbers in the total cost column here and why each time we're adding 10. We always have 10 pounds worth of fixed costs and then we have 10 pounds more in terms of wage whenever we employ one more worker here. So that's fine. What about average cost and marginal cost? We need the equations first. The equation for average cost is total cost divided by quantity, or we could use average fixed cost plus average variable cost. In this case, I'm gonna use this first equation because that's the data we have. And if we do total cost divided by Q for all these figures, we get the numbers on the right-hand side. I've done those already. You can work them out on your own. Simple stuff, happy days. What about marginal cost? Well, marginal, remember, just means extra. So marginal cost here is the extra cost when we produce one more unit of output. The equation is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. The marginal anything in economics will always have a very simple equation. It's always gonna be the average equation just with changes in it. So here it's marginal cost, so it's just the average equation but with changes in it. So let's work out marginal costs here then. We can't do it for the first row. So when we employ that first worker and four units are being produced, what's the marginal cost there? Well, it's the change in TC, which is 10, divided by the change in output, which is four. So 10 divided by four is 2.5. The change in TC is always gonna be 10 here. So for the next uh, one, it's gonna be 10 divided by five. 10 divided by five is two. Then it's gonna be 10 divided by six, that's 1.67 to 2dp. Then it's gonna be 10 divided by two, that's five and then 10 divided by one, and that's 10. Great. So we have our average cost figures, and we have our marginal cost figures. Now we need to look at the curves. What we could do is plot these uh, points exactly on a diagram and get the exact shapes. We don't wanna do that, we just wanna get the general shapes. We can use these figures to guide us, and we'll see with average cost first, average cost initially falls, and then it starts to rise again. So average cost is gonna look something like this. That's the average cost curve. Marginal cost follows a very similar relationship. It falls, but then it rises much more dramatically than average cost, looking like this. That's our marginal cost curve right there. And if you look at these curves more carefully, we can see that marginal cost and average cost are the mirror reflections of marginal product and average product. They're exactly the same curves, just flipped in reverse. And that is because they are shaped due to the law of diminishing returns again. And what we can do to illustrate it carefully is by breaking up the marginal cost curve into two parts. So let's break it up there and we'll call that part one and that part two. And what we can see very clearly is how the law of diminishing returns affects the shape of these curves. So in stage one, we can see that there is increasing labor productivity. There is increasing marginal product. Remember the reasons why? One reason was specialization between workers. The other reason was underutilization of fixed factors of production. As a result, labor productivity increases, marginal product increases, and we can see very clearly as a result that marginal product, marginal cost will decrease in this case. And it's very clearly clear from our numbers that this works. Marginal product is rising, rising, rising there, and with that, marginal cost is falling. Due to higher labor productivity, higher marginal product is gonna decrease marginal cost. But then the law of diminishing returns kick in, and they kick in at this point. We start seeing diminishing returns from here. And why in stage two? Well, labor productivity decreases, marginal product decreases, and that is because our fixed factors of production become a constraint on production, and therefore marginal cost will rise. And we see it here. So we can see as marginal product decreases, marginal cost increases our fixed factors of production become a constraint on production. So that explains the shape of the marginal cost curve, the average cost curve also we can use 
the same kind of logic, but marginal cost is what you want to break up here to really illustrate the law of diminishing returns and why this curve is shaped the way it is. So now you've got marginal cost and average cost to add to your portfolio of different cost curves in the short run. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this really makes sense now. I'll see you all in the next very important video. Thank you.